everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a story about how we've competed with the world in software-defined networking. In 2013, Open Networking Foundation, an organization dedicated to promoting SDN, has launched a worldwide competition. They have announced a grand prize of $50,000 to the team which will come up with the best open flow driver. So myself and five other women engineers, part of the CodeChix community, have volunteered team to compete in this competition. CodeChex is a non-profit organization dedicated to the technical growth of women engineers in the industry. So each of us in the team are volunteers at CodeChex and we have pledged to donate this $50,000 to CodeChex if we win the competition. And this is by far the most technical volunteer service you must have ever seen. So what is the goal of this competition? We had to come up with a standard open flow driver that can be used by developers in order to build new controllers and switches around it in an easy way. The requirements of the competitions were quite ambitious, you know. We had to come up with an open flow driver which is platform independent, has multi-language bindings, needs to be integrated with the controller, and has to comply with a 200 pages of open flow spec. And this was quite challenging to each of us. Apart from this, we also hit some roadblocks even before we could get started. We had to get legal blessings from each of our companies so that we can assign the rights to ONF if we win this competition. And one of us even had to drop out because we could not get the legal clearance. So finally, we were left with five women engineers in the team, and each of us have full-time jobs in Fortune 500 companies. So. Uh, we had to work for about three to four months in order to submit this entry into this competition. And at this point, we had absolutely no clue about SDN, OpenFlow, OVS, or any of these technologies. We've had to go through several hacking sessions in order to understand what are the competition requirements and even submit an entry. So one of the biggest challenge that we had to face was OpenFlow protocol supports up to 256K simultaneous socket connections. And our driver has to demonstrate this capability without compromising the performance and reliability. So in order to do this, this was, this was pretty much our daily routine. We had to work for all the weekends, weekday nights, and even take some precious vacation days in order to get this done. And we had, some of us even had family emergencies and a couple of kids to deal with. Apart from that, we had some major technical challenges, one of which was to integrate our driver with an existing SDN controller. And we also had to come up with multi-language bindings, which we had no clue about at the beginning when we started this. And we, ha we also had to come up with a very complex hybrid thread model, which uses elastic thread pools in order to meet the performance requirements of the competition. And we had no idea about Git because none of us used it at work, and this was a big learning curve for us. So just to you know, come up with the basic test infrastructure, we had to use so many technologies like OpenMule, OpenFlow, OVS, Mininet, and build it on Amazon Web Services. But finally, there it is. We got our driver to work just in time for the competition deadline, and we could see the open flow messages being exchanged between the SDN controllers and switches. So it took us about three and a half months, nearly 10,000 lines of code, and almost more than 800 hours of work in order to get this done in our personal time. So this is probably one of the first international competition entry done by an all-women engineer team today. As quoted by the CodeChex founder, Rupa, so she goes to say that this is an example to show that every woman engineer, no matter what phase of life she's in, they can reach for any star if they have the necessary passion and desire and re go for it. So uh, unfortunately, we did not win this competition, but <laughs> we did gain a lot of experience from it. We learned a lot, and we were competing with professional teams working on this full time, sponsored by their companies. We also plan to enhance our library in the future by scaling it, adding security to it, and even profiling and benchmarking it. So we have big plans to 
you know, enhance it in the future. If any of you are motivated enough and would like to contribute to our open source project, do come and talk to me. As you've seen, we have big plans for the future and a lot of work left to do. Thank you.